Hello, YBM Wellness members only community. We are so excited today to be bringing you a stretch video. We really believe that this is one of the most important things you can be doing. Whether you choose to do this after your workout or just any random day, maybe you want to combine it with your core and stretch day. I think that would be great. You combine those two things. But we want to talk to you just real briefly. Stretching is so important. It's probably the one thing most of us neglect to do. We carry around all this tension throughout our body day in and day out, but we never relax. Okay, so if this is something that you're doing fresh right out of the gate, I suggest you warm your body up a little bit. If you're doing it post-workout, it's a perfect time to do it. We're going to go through 15 stretches. Okay, we're just going to go one right after the, uh, the other from top to bottom. And by the time you're done with this, you should feel relaxed, you should feel rested, and you should feel ready to go. All right? So we're not really going to waste any time talking too much. We'll talk to you throughout as we always do, share some messages and some important things. But let's jump right into this first one. We're going to start with our next, and we're literally just going to you know, get our feet shoulder width apart, relax yourself, and just, just lightly lean your neck to the one side, right? And what I do is drive the opposite hand down, okay? And you know, sometimes stretching is, you gotta have a little resistance against what you're doing, right? Okay, so you're pushing down. All right, let's 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 go to the, looking down at our toes. We're just gonna kinda roll right around here. Drop your shoulders down, don't let them ride out. Yeah, often we, you know, if you, if you sit or whatever at a desk job, let's go the other side. Remember, dropping that opposite arm down. If you sit, you know, a lot of tension builds up in our necks, in our shoulders, and it's time to just uh, release that. All right, here we go. We're going to go to some shoulder shrug up, and then just drop them. Okay, shrug them up, and then just drop them, okay? Really squeeze. We're going to do one more of those. Really, really squeeze and release your shoulder blades. All right, now we're just gonna do some rear shoulder rolls. One thing I want you to focus on throughout your day is keeping your shoulders back. My mom used to always yell at me and say, put your shoulders back. Well, that's because that's the way you're connected. Your body, your head should not be, you know, being pressed in. It should, your shoulders go back. Let's roll them forward. Okay. And they should be, it should be all in a straight alignment, but when we sit at a computer, we kind of hunch. All right, let's go back to our shoulder shrug up and release. Okay, two more. Release. And one more. And release. All right, now we're going to take our right arm, shake that out. We're going to take it, we're going to bend it behind our neck, and we're just going to stretch out our, we're starting to stretch out our tricep, which is the back of our shoulders, and really all the way down through our sides. Okay, we house a lot in there. All right, we're gonna do these for 15 seconds each. Let's switch, other arm up. And what happens with stretching is you start to find your, your spots, your, your sore spots, where they hurt. Don't forget to breathe. All right, take your left hand right across your body. You know, we're working that upper body, getting it loose. Getting it stretched. All right, other side. Feel that stretch as it pulls over. Don't don't go too far, but you should feel. Ah, it feels great. All right, hands up. All right, raise them up. Together, we're gonna to just stretch out our whole body. Really try to drive up through. This is where you're gonna feel those shoulders start to relax. Or some, for some of you, if you have a shoulder thing going on, they might pinch a little bit, but just, you know, wherever you're comfortable. All right, we're gonna lean to one side. It doesn't take a lot. Again, I'm leaning to my right and I'm pulling my left, and almost like I'm punching the ceiling at an angle. I really wanna stretch out this, this side, my lat, which is my back muscle, okay? It's really, really important, all right? Back up, and then lean to the other side. Breathe, breathe through your stretch. Every time you exhale, you inhale and exhale, then you're gonna go a little deeper, okay? And you're getting the blood flow moving through your body, so keep breathing through your stretch. Don't hold your breath. Nice and job. Tightening. And you're gonna start to find ones, like I said, that you really, really, really like, and the ones you don't. 
All right, here we go. You might need a door jam or something, but you're gonna put one arm in, you know, maybe in just the door jam. You're just gonna turn it out. All right, we're gonna stretch out that chest. If you're doing a lot of push-ups, a lot of upper body, you wanna get that chest stretched out. Now, if you have a complete door jam and you wanna use both arms in it the whole time, you go, go for it. You can go across too. Okay, we're gonna switch. Again, other hand in that door jam, and then you're just gonna turn away. Get that sh stretched out in the upper body. One thing I like to do is I like to take my hands in the, the whole thing in the frame and just you know work my way out and around. And even if you don't have a door jam, you can just do this. Just take your hands and pull back. We live in where we mostly lean forward with everything and we really don't get our back upright and in the right position. Uh, nice job. All right, here we go. We're going to get a little bit of a, a feet width apart or a little wider and we're going to lunge to one side and then we're going to take, so we're stretching out the inside of our, our legs here and then we're going to take our opposite hand up and over the top. So now we're pulling again on that side. You're going to feel a little burn in the, in the quad. That's okay. Especially really. if you did this after a workout. So if you did one of the workouts, and you're doing this each time you work out or a few times after Switch. you work out, your legs might shake a little bit, right? That's okay. It's because they're tired, but you're stretching them out. That's it. Oh, I feel that. I'm feeling it in my hips. Nice job. Just stretch and breathe. All right, here we go, back up together. We're gonna to take our, our right foot in front, kind of bend our toe up, I guess if you can see, and then we're just gonna lean forward into it. You're gonna feel that pull all the way down your hamstring and straight into your calf muscles. If you can, I can't. <laughs> you can reach out and pull. Again, everybody has sit, a different flex. Sit back, Will. Different sure flexibility. Back. All right, let's switch. Let's take our feet out again wide and we're gonna just remember when you bend at your waist core in don't just let it hang and we're gonna go down to the middle and try to touch the toes you can keep your head to head not just hanging down you can just or actually you can keep your head hanging down just relax feel the hamstring stretch okay we're gonna go to our right leg Again, take, if you're going to your right leg, take your left hand and touch the outside of your right leg. That'll add that little bit extra of the side twist there. Open up your hips. Good. Keep breathing. A lot of tightness for me in these stretches. So I'm Switch. In my hamstrings, so I have to really breathe through this. So if that's you, make sure you keep breathing and getting that movement so that they lengthen. Nice job. Three, two, all right. Ooh, feels good. All right, we're gonna just stre stretch our quadriceps out the front of our leg. If you need a spot to balance, you're just gonna take your leg. Nice stretch behind. You can put your arm up and yeah. stretch here if you like. Works on your balance. And some people, if you can't do this, it's okay, you can, you can even just, just, just lunge. Just lunge a little bit. But this stretches out that front of the quadricep, right here, a lot of it in that hip flexor. We're gonna work on that switch sides. If you can't grab your foot, something, you know, you can also, uh, you know, I put it up on a chair. You can put it up on a chair, you can get a, a band or a jump rope and you can pull it. Now we're, we've been standing for a while. Now we're going to sit down and we're going we're to 
to go to a seated, more seated position where we're going to sit down. We're going to do very similar, all right, feet, feet together. We're going to do a hamstring stretch. Feet together, this is kind of a really old, traditional stretch, but I'll tell you what, it is a good one. Toes are up. I'm at my shins. Shannon's touching her toes. And there were days where we could go beyond. Oh, all you right? have no idea. <laughs> my flexibility used to be so good. And for some, I know you're saying that it's perfect <laughs> compared to what Feet it used wide. to be. Go to the right. I know you're saying, well, we just did this standing. Yeah, but the angles, there's a difference here. You can really breathe into it and try Stretch to- Stretch this way too, if you'd like. Come down. Nice, switch, other side. This next section, this right here, has really been the area, I know for guys, if you're a guy out there watching this, all right, we're gonna go to a butterfly right now. All right, so butterfly stretch, and this is just, like I said, this is an area, and you just push down gently on the in, uh, outside of your knees, that we neglect, um, especially in the lower body. We really, as a society, I don't think, because we sit all day, we get tight, and a lot of our issues in our backs and in every other area, it's all because we're not flexible. So you think about it, you're, when you're inflexible and you go to lift anything, and you go to move, you have, the, you, know, you have the opportunity to get hurt because your body isn't pliable. Think about that rubber band. When you have a rubber band, if you were to freeze it, you pull on it, it will snap, that thing breaks, or an old one. Well, you wanna keep lubricated, you wanna keep your body fluid so that your muscles have the opportunity to stretch whenever they're moved. I know it's simple, but yet powerful. All right, so we're gonna come up on our, on our, on our if you need to, you can put a pad under your knee, but we're gonna put our, our one foot in front, a 90 degree bend, and the other leg is behind, and all we're doing is leaning into this. This is this hip flexor. We're often, from sitting, we're in that crunched over position. Now we're gonna open that thing up, and it, it, that whole, uh, for me, my left knee's forward, opening up that hip, and you just kind of lean into it, drive it forward, and open that hip flexor up, especially when we do a lot of mountain climbers, the planks, those types of things are gonna, you know, draw that hip flexor and tighten it, switch sides, we want to loosen it, okay? So we're just leaning into this. This has become one of my favorite stretches. I just recognized too when I was on the other side that I was starting to tighten up a little bit in my back and my neck, and I had to take notice of it. Guys, as you start to move through these workouts, and as you start to do these stretches, take notice of what your body is doing and responding, right? So that you can grab a hold of the areas where you're tightening and loosen it up. Oof. All right, here we go. We're gonna lay down on our backs. We're gonna bring our knees in. We're gonna hug ourselves. You ever have difficulty tying your shoes? Well, <laughs> it feels so good. It just feels so relaxing. All right, what I want you to do is your knees together. I want you to lean them to one side and I want to put your opposite hand going the other direction. Again, opening up the hips. So important to open your hips up. back up to the other side. Nice job. Knees together, give them one last squeeze. All right, come on up. Now here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna go back to your knees almost like you're getting ready to do a plank. What you're gonna do is you're gonna, your right leg's gonna stay, your right knee, your left leg draws straight back. So I'm gonna turn to the side a little bit. And this knee, go, you, you're kind of just leaning back and sitting on it, okay? So my, my right knee is across, and I'm just, I have my left leg straight, and I'm just sitting back. So I'm like kind of leaning on. What you're doing is it's again a hip opener. Your, the side, your IT band on your right side is getting open into your glute. And you're just sitting back into it. Guys, really breathe for this one. Really breathe. If you need to stay upward here, if you can't kind of sit into it, you're going to have, this is an area you're going to progress in. Yep. Let's switch. Okay, so watch. I'm on my, I'm on uh, fours. 
my, I bring my left knee up, I straighten my right back, and then I'm gonna sit back and my and sit down right into my, my hip here, right on over top of it. So my right knee is or foot is actually on my right or my left foot is sticking out on the opposite side. And I'm just sitting on that that hip, stretching it out. Stretching it out. So as we're getting ready to wind down, this is our next, our last stretch here coming up. It is just where we're gonna just sit down and, and um, we're gonna be on our knees. So everybody come up to your knees. And we're just gonna bend forward and we're gonna give this, this is our time where really you just take this minute and you just thank God for everything that he's given you, a body that you can build up, a temple that you can grow and stretch. And maybe you just need to take this next minute and just let anything that's been bothering you just disappear. Any stress you've been holding today, use this time. And I'll tell you, I've been doing this for, oh man, I don't know, for like the last month or two, really just this time. And just I, I, 30 seconds of thanks and 30 seconds of releasing all the things that have been bothering me. So let's just bend down. I just put my hands out at my side and just silence. Share your breath as you go, breathe. Share your breath and just silence it. Anything else that's going on in your head. Take three more breaths, deep breaths, and, and get rid of anything that needs you to get rid of. You might even have to visualize yourself seeing and leaving any burdens that you need to leave. Leave it there. Deep breaths, one more. Share it slowly, take your hands in. Nice and slow, come up. Awesome. All right, guys, just to end, a couple things. Um, you know, this video is about stretching, right? If you are now a part of this YBM Wellness uh, members group, we um, just thank you. But what I want to say is, listen, this is a time of stretching, right? We're not only stretching our bodies, but we're going to stretch our minds and our hearts and open up to new possibilities, to new things, to new growth. In order for your muscles to get to another, like to expand and get new growth, sometimes there's, well, not sometimes, there is. It literally, parts of your muscle tear, okay? And, and, so, and that can be painful and that can hurt. So it's important that we take care of our body by doing these stretches, but it's really important that you understand that it's not going to be easy every step. Like, let's just be honest, okay? Every day you're not going to work, wake up and think like, yes, let's go work out, right? But the times where you say to yourself, in those hard times where you say, you know what? I've committed to this and I'm staying with it. I'm sticking with it. I, I'm not giving up on myself. You're going to see that step by step, little by little, that there's just a, the, the breakthrough just keeps happening. The breakthrough just keeps happening. Just like the muscle is going to break forth, you as a person break forth. Okay, so stretch yourselves and allow yourselves to be stretched in this process because we believe that what comes out of it is going to be far greater than anything you can imagine. So we are just a blessed by you. Have an amazing day, and um, I'm sure you're going to hear this message a couple times because you should be doing you this need it. So um, do you. throughout your month. So uh, take a hold of that message and grab it.